Okay, this video tackles the following question. How many liters of carbon dioxide at STP are produced by the complete combustion of 92.4 grams of propane? Our first step in any of these types of problems is to write out the reaction. Propane is C3H8. And if it's a complete combustion reaction, it's reacting with oxygen. Oxygen's O2 because it's diatomic. And we're going to have carbon dioxide and water as our two products. We need to balance this reaction. Put a three here to take care of the carbons, four here for the hydrogen, and a five here to finish off the oxygens. All right, so my starting amount is 92.4 grams of propane. And I ultimately want to convert that grams of propane over to liters of carbon dioxide. So I need to get my propane into moles first, because then I can go from moles of propane to moles of carbon dioxide. So to convert from grams of propane to moles of propane, I'm going to put my grams of propane in the denominator, moles of propane in the numerator. So the grams can cancel, and the periodic table tells me, by using the molar mass, that one mole of propane is approximately 44.11 grams. Once again, that 44.11 was obtained by adding together three carbons from the periodic table and eight hydrogens. Now that I have moles of propane, I can convert from moles of propane, which I'll put in the denominator to cancel with the moles of propane over here in the numerator, and I can convert over to my desired product, carbon dioxide. I use the one to three ratio from the balanced equation. The three carbon dioxides and the one propane. The one's not written in there, but it is implied. The moles of propane will cancel out and I'm left with moles of carbon dioxide. Lastly, because we're assuming STP or told STP in this question, standard temperature and pressure, I know that one mole of any gas and Carbon dioxide is no exception. It's going to have a standard molar volume here of 22.4 liters. So moles of carbon dioxide would then cancel out. And now I'll be left with my desired unit here, liters of carbon dioxide. So now all that's left to do is punch this into the calculator. And I'm going to obtain 141 liters of carbon dioxide. I want to have three significant figures because I had three sig figs in the question, so I'm going to have three sig figs in my answer.